Welcome back to Creeper World 4. Last time we played it, we experienced a giant creeper volcano. It was epic. Now today it's gonna be something even stranger in my opinion. We're on a day of infamy. Now a day of infamy kind of reminds me of like uh, December 7th, 1941. A day which will live in infamy, Pearl Harbor. So is this Pearl Harbor? We've played Creeper World and we've had our D-Days experience, but is this Pearl Harbor? Basically, this is the situation. This is a giant reservoir of Creeper. Creeper is this blue fluid that is like living and trying to destroy us and eat us. It's a little bit crazy. What's this pyramid? What is that? These totems need anti-creeper from the factory. Okay, got it. These little blue octopi squid billy looking things. Well, those are where creepers spawn in. See, check this out. See that blue flood? Yeah, that's the creeper. And once it gets over to these things, they're gonna fire giant giant projectiles. You guys ever watch the movie Starship Troopers? Picture that. Those giant blazingly bright plasma blobs flying through space. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Is the creeper growing here or is it just moving? Or is it eating it? Oh my God, it's eating it. Okay, well that's terrifying. That is destroying all of that. Wow. We've got our work cut out for us because we need to silence these little creeper nodes. Oh my God. These are the worst. You know Empires of the Undergrowth? Who wants to see more of that first off? But you know those little, like, spider things that jump out and eat your ants? These things are gonna basically do something equivalent. And look at this! Is this a... It is a literal tsunami. I don't know how that happened. I think it bounced off of, like, the imaginary wall here. Tsunamis are coming! Okay, well, that, that's terrifying. Yay! We're gonna die. All right, so we've got a multiple things. Now, I need to set my rematerialization coordinates, right? Basically, where I can survive, I'm gonna put my base up here. I guess I could put it anywhere, right? Well, this is gonna get flooded and invaded in a tidal wave. We just saw that. I don't think here's a good spot. We need to be as high up as possible, dude. We gotta get so high, dude. I need to get from here. This isn't gonna work. I need to mine this stuff. How do I mine it? They call this a mine? And, I mean, what am I supposed to do about this? Wow, those were built immediately fast. Okay. Never mind, this is possible. Now you get them over down to here, and then we create the miners. Alright, we'll craft two miners, get those guys up and running quickly. And then I'm thinking what we want to do is start shelling this with a mortar to try to do our best to start taking out some of this creeper because this is gonna start flooding. And then what I need to do is protect the mines. In order to do that, we're gonna need both a sniper up here and maybe one down here as well. And then I'm gonna need a missile defense system because what's going to happen is these things are gonna start, start firing. I think once the, the creeper floods over it, I think that's what it gives them what they need to start firing. Oh no, these are the volcanoes. This is a creeper stash. Oh my gosh, oh God, we've got a flood coming. This pylon might get wrecked. I think what we need to do, yep, right here. But the mortars are going, so there's that. We're gonna, we must construct additional pylons. Oh God, I'm gonna lose that one too. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose them all. This is a bad idea. And the mortars don't have enough, oh, well, yep, it's, it's already ripped. What we can do, pretend I'm a Jedi. And I just waved my hand, and you forgot what exactly happened. Can we learn from our mistake? I sure hope so. Check this out. I had to restart this map many times. Many times. Don't get mad if you don't figure out the first attempt, or get mad. One eternity later. All right, we're gonna try it this way. We're gonna see if we can't get a mine up and running very quickly. We, the first crisis you have to avert is this giant wave, then, all of the missiles coming out here. I think what we could do is right after this guy's done, I'm gonna build another mine. And by that, I think we're gonna need a pylon first. There we go. Two mines, is it enough? We'll get one mortar over here just pumping. And then we need to have uh, a few cannons over here. Is that enough? Because then I think we need to work on the air defense systems, don't we? Like, what do, what do you do, Mr. Inhibitor? What are you inhibiting? And why do I feel like you just don't do enough? All right, we'll get two cannons, two mortars. We've got one mortar already softening things up up here. And by that, I mean, let's get a second one. Because quantity does have a quality all its own. Now, this area isn't flooded yet. They put that there. This is really cheeky, isn't it? Is this where we're supposed to hold them? The heck if I know. What is all this weird stuff? I have not a clue what that is. All right. 
So we can just hold back this flood. We need to get snipers and missiles set up. I guess I could put a, a sniper there. Then we need a missile battery or two. And I know I'm gonna want one down here. Now we're running deficits already. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. And don't the snipers use different munitions or the missiles use different munitions? I need a factory. Man, that's not... Look at that. Look, there's no room in my empire for this. Uh-oh, here we go. There's where the factory's gonna have to be. Okay. Did we mess up by not building the factory fast enough now? All right, here it is. Can we endure this? The impossible task? Uh, the missiles don't have weapons. It was the factory. Whoa. Whoa there, Traveler. It seems you might need some assistance achieving a dialogue. I pulled in some enlightenment spheres to assist with the conversation. Okay. What is... What are these spheres? I can move them. What is this? Flatten AC. What? They just blew up. Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna launch them all in there and destroy massive amounts of creeper simultaneously. We have these giant like depth charges now. Oh, they just did it automatically. Look at that. Wow. Did that just buy us some significant amount of time? I think so. All right, so this guy's gonna go in here and explode. Look at this. So they created, it looks like they almost created some anti-creeper actually. We bought ourselves a little bit of time. All right, detonate. It's like a giant depth charge. <laughs> that is awesome. Bought us a little bit of time. Bought us a little bit of time. The base got hit. All right, missiles fire. All right, we stopped one, stopped two. And one got through and now there's these little like cockroach looking things. We're gonna need more than two snipers, I think, to stop them in, in covering all angles. But this might just be enough to hold out. I'm gonna put a sniper over here and in order to get that, we're gonna have to put a supply line. And then if we could build a pylon and connect up to here, oh wow. That temple gave us those depth charge things. Maybe we should have waited for them for the right moment, but we're gonna fight against the impossible here. Now, can mortars reach over here? I think just barely. So I'm gonna be firing some mortars at this giant wave here. Look at it, look at it like stacking up. I love how the creeper just can't get through these empty spaces. This is, this is terrifying. Oh, you hear that? They're firing, they always make this noise. Okay, so they like to shell this area right here. The mortars are going. Oh man, okay. Oh, one landed. Oh, it just destroyed this pylon. Uh oh, this is pretty bad. Wow, we lost a lot of stuff there. Wow, okay. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get over here. The range of mortars is not far enough. All right, they're about to fire. Oh, look at that giant, it looks like a crater. Some of them actually landed on their own side. So here's something else I'm trying is pumping this full of anti-creeper so that it's gonna activate and create a protective zone. Now that's where I should really put more snipers. I'll put two snipers in that safe zone as well as a missile defense system. I think I used those giant explosives too early. Incoming! Oh, I'm not sure if we have... Okay, we do have missile defense over here. Wow. It is like a Pearl Harbor. All of that aerial invasion all at once. Although we were prepared for it. Whoa, that does not bode well for me. I don't know what that is. I didn't know Creeper could do that. I, I guess to some extent they can't. So what I have to do somehow is create a beachhead right here. So we're definitely gonna need a pylon. And then I have to create another pylon, but like I can barely cover it and try to get as many mortars as we can shelling that area. It's just such tight terrain. All right, we're producing as many mortars. This this is like the only bit of land, I think. Maybe, wait, maybe right here. We can land one mortar in over there. <laughs> oh boy. Incoming! Oh, I spoke too soon. Some just detonated. And what detonated was actually the mines. Oh, Gimli, please forgive me. All right, we're gonna try it to put a pile on here. <laughs> it's the test of all tests. Now we're far better prepared. Our front line of defense, which actually needs some missile batteries over here. We're, we're basically, these are like our D-Day troops again. We're gonna have to do D-Day again. We've, we've survived Pearl Harbor and it's multiple Pearl, Pearl Harbors. I don't expect this to go well, but maybe if we send enough, oh God, it's just like, it's a flood. It's a flood, this is, I can't send anymore. I feel, I, I would feel guilty. Rest in pepperonis, you fought bravely. Fire, 
Just clear out the way. Keep clearing it out. They're actually surviving. Okay, not too long. All right, we, we, we went for it. They're just flooded. Oh, see, that's what we need is we needed one of those explosions to go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No way. Look at this. It worked. Oh, big hit. Start turning. All right, it seems only really maybe the first two lines fire. Go in peace, traveler. It has become apparent our companions do not yet see our common journey. They have lost their way. Rejoice. We have opportunity. Blah, blah, blah. What? We've got more of these cubes. So I've got to coordinate this, right? I think you go here. You go here. And you go like here. And we'll save two of them. All right, they're gonna go and explode. And once they do, it's time to build a pylon on the hill right here. Take the hill, take the summit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at what those two just charges did. Okay, we have the summit. Now I need mortars up there. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna need air defense, aren't I? And snipers. Guys, it, it, it like worked. We hold this summit of a hill. I want to keep these two charges left when I want to make a big move, but these things are like, they're like Death Star TNT explosions. Creeper world indeed, man. Oh God, a lot of shelling here. Do I have missiles here? Where's the nearest missile system? Oh, we have proven to be effective. Oh God, the roaches are coming. Oh, not the roaches. Ooh, we have suffered damage, but no casualties. Look at that giant wave coming. It's gonna come back in force, isn't it? Look at this tidal wave. Are we holding it back or is it the anti-creeper that's on the ground that's kind of causing the main source of delay? What we need to do is activate this guy. Oh my gosh, why didn't I see that before? We're gonna put a pylon. Oh, that works. But it won't activate that, will it? And I can't hold that. Yeah, it's about to get overwhelmed right now. Dang, that anti-creeper would be great. Hmm, maybe I need another charge. I'm gonna activate the charge right here. And I'm gonna see, you know what? I'm gonna activate this other charge here and see if I can't activate this anti-creeper. But we'll activate this pylon and then we'll put a little guy right down there that'll connect from this big guy. And then hopefully that works. So these two are about to explode. Let's see it from this angle. Was it, was it, oh, we lost the pylon. Designation number two. Now we need to activate, there we go. He needs to be within this anti-creeper and hopefully we have enough anti-creeper to activate a giant force field here, which then will allow us to create kind of another beachhead over here. Oh my God, that's terrifying. All right, work, hurry up. We only have so much time. Is he being filled with the anti-creeper? Do we see it coming down? The s oh, it's coming down the supply line. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Activate, 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 activate. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and oh. <gasps> Oh my god, just in time. We need more snipers up close. But I'm running out of surface area. Something- Oh, did we lose that? Or did it- Is it still activated? I think it is. It was powered. So I'm not sure if we necessarily have to keep powering it. Then in a little, uh, landing party here. But I used up all of our giant explosive charges there. I still don't know what this inhibitor does. Unit on, armed on, avoid creeper. Not sure what he's inhibiting. Whoa, 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 what is... Is that creeper dying or is that anti-creeper? I can't tell. So we got like the high speed internet right here that gets the supplies up here faster than this kind of like side route. Developments in technology, Tovarish. All right, we've made it inside. So now I should be able to hug this thing and put these cannons in there to start chewing away at that. Ooh, okay, when you look through this tidal wave, I'm surprised I didn't see this earlier, but then at the same time, I guess I'm not. We need to get to this anti-creeper. Now, can I use a pylon to connect to it? We need to be get an, a little bit closer. So we gotta move the front line and produce more units for said front line. This is what I'm talking about. We're pushing them back. We'll be able to activate this and maybe get close enough to deactivate this creeper. Move the line! Hold the line and move it. You can't hold it and move it, sir. Of course you can. And once you start moving the mortars up, that's really when I feel like we start getting a lot of headway. Oh man, the front lines took massive hits from the roaches. 
Uh, we may not have had enough snipers. All right, so I'm producing an incredible amount of units, and now I think we're close enough to activate this. Oh, yeah. Right there. There it is. Now, do I see any more of those in there? It's kind of hard to look through it all. I don't think so. I think the next move is actually to try to get... To deactivate this guy, and then take command of this hill. Wow, look at this volcano. Oh. Every time that thing erupts. So it's almost activated. I love how you can just send it through. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Objective obtained. Rift jump. That's all we had to do. So we activated the totems, nullify enemies. This is the last mission. So... Wow, look how cool that looks. And then the massive roach invasion happens. We take a bunch of hits to the face. But this is a heavyweight boxing match, and that's expected. Casualties are expected, Commander. My supply chain is just absolutely nuts right now. But this is what we want to do. He's producing creeper, right? So what we need to do... Can I put a... Ant a nullifier right here on top of that hill. Right there is as close as we can get. Oh, wow. I've got so many guns on the front line that aren't getting munitions. But I'm still producing a surplus. It's just getting the munitions over here. Look at all those little red uh, squares. That's the munitions. All right, so this nullifier is going in, and we're going to get that. We're pushing and pushing and pushing. It's, it's almost easier to just produce more than it is to move them all. This is one click away. Roaches incoming! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, need some snipers there, clearly. I guess we'll just produce a bunch. Look at that, we nullified him, so now he's no longer producing creepers. So how many other things are there? Nullify enemies, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My goodness! This is the situation, look at that. The volcano's exploding. I need to really clear out that stash. I don't think I've ever used this many turrets. Normally we just mask mortars. Oh, you know what'd be really cool is to put missiles right out here. Actually, we're so close we can nullify these things. Nullify. Oh, we got that guy being nullified. Got this guy about to be nullified. That's two nullifications. Ooh! This is what a creeper stash exploding looks like in, in front of a number of guns. Where's the other producers? This is a producer. We've got two producers of creeper left. Look at them shooting up at this hill. <laughs> but it's showing progress, isn't it? Most of those missiles get knocked out before they take flight. So this is gonna be interesting. Can we take the hill? Can we be king of the hill? He's starting to clear it out. He makes the next landing easier. He makes the next landing easier. And then you just have a landing. And then what we do is we have to ensure that we can supply anybody that goes up there. And then we just mortar everything. We will... Re oh my god, look at the double wave action. That is awesome. Okay, I should be close enough to nullify this guy now. Oh, explosions up here. Something got lost. The roaches are attacking the weak points. Put snipers on the cliffs and then negate those snipers. Destroy the little wormy holes. And here we go, check this out. Oh, this is cheeky. This was definitely the next step. Nullifying this guy from a top and then I think there's just two or three left. These two nullifiers are currently being produced. So I feel like if we speed this up, what we're gonna see is them all go up and shut these guys down. Leaving just a small amount that's still producing. Oh, it's beautiful! There it is. Nullified! That leaves this guy. There's a really weird sound. Something is powering up over here. Do you hear that? Okay, that's creepy. That is super creepy. Objective obtained from what exactly? Reclaim? What did I reclaim? That was weird. I'm just doing massive relocations here. Look at that, going straight up against the wave here. This is what you call a very aggressive leader if I just send these guys in and they, the supply network isn't established just yet. But it must be done. I mean, look at this. Yes! The last two! The last two! Here it is. Come on. Let's speed this up. Because we just need these two to be produced. I wonder what that reclaiming was all about, because I, I I didn't see anything. Oh, we did take some losses. Did they take both of them out? They did, those cheekies. You are not allowed to do that. I'm the good guy. 
Wow. I didn't realize that those waves were coming from off screen then. So there's just literally that this one enemy that we have to nullify. Where are these waves coming from? Are they just bouncing off and we're actually taking them out? We're gonna eliminate all creeper. Even these last waves. Eliminate all of it. This is gonna be like a shipbuilding world. We're gonna build the Death Star. The Creeper Death Star. And voila! We did it. So we started off actually right next to the mine. So if you guys wanna see more Creeper World, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.